All right, folks, I got to tell you, this is somewhat of a sensitive subject. Something deadly is lurking Whoa! in the waters of the Whoa! What the species. fuck? Not deadly to humans. Please don't turn sideways again. Which is a critically endangered species. Whatever it is, it's also causing more common fish like snapper. And oh, my God. To act erratically and <gasps> sometimes die as well. Ariadne reports from the Keys. Ugh. I just yes, threw up in my mouth. It's truly a mystery what is happening here. I bet he's the baby daddy. Right now. Look at him. talking about is happening in the lower keys a few miles south of where I'm standing. Let's talk about what happened in the lower keys of that reporter. Sawfish have turned up dead in the past few weeks in the waters of the lower keys. And as you said, other more common fish are behaving erratically. So there's a team of experts combining their expertise to try to figure out what's going on here. So every other fish is cool. They're just behaving erratically. Sawfish are not supposed to die like this. Unknown, rare occurrence. We really haven't seen Fuck anything me. like this before. I mean, all of us obviously want to know why it's happening. And, uh, you know, and if there's anything that can be done about it. Dr. Dean Grubbs of FSU is an expert on the small tooth sawfish, a critically endangered species which only really lives in... Is there a large tooth sawfish? We were just celebrating, you know, less than a year ago, the fact that we are starting to see signs of recovery of the population in the U.S. And then they started dying. And I think it's an emergency that we figure out what's causing it. And if it's anything that can be reversed and anything that can be avoided in the future, you know, uh, if this becomes... I'll tell you what it is. Dangerous. They're fucking depressed. Maybe, COVID you know, shut shit down. Concern, obviously. Schools were closed. The sawfish are pretty mobile. They can move pretty fast. Um, you know, why did they stay in that area? Whatever this is must hit them pretty, pretty rapidly. But it's not just sawfish. Divers and fishermen in the Keys are seeing species like snapper, snook, and grouper doing this weird behavior. It's a death spiral. What's causing it? Oh. Dr. Michael Parsons of Florida Gulf Coast University is an expert on dinoflagellate algae. Dinoflagellate? One of which causes red Dinosaur dye. farts? He says the culprit here could be a different species of algae. I would say the, the sawfish mortalities are a big problem. I would say the erratic fish behavior and the other fish mortalities are unusual, but we're not seeing the numbers of dead fish like we saw with red tide or, or large red tide. So it's not the scale of a red tide fish kill. But the fact that the saw what the fuck is it then? Very concerned. And it's a concern because they are critically endangered. Sawfish are a ray. They're not sharks, although they look like sharks. And Dr. Grubb says there's only about 450 adult females right now in Florida waters. They're an apex predator, so they're very important to the ecosystem as well. Dr. Parsons says they still don't Why know are so few, if then? this particular algae is the culprit. There's no smoking gun yet. They have to do some more research. He says it's going to take weeks, maybe months to figure that out. He also says it's possible that last summer's extremely high water temperatures here in the Keys may have allowed the algae right. to proliferate much more than normal. But you listen to me. Again, though, you stop shitting where you eat. You hear me? You stop getting them bitches pregnant.